that's like where you show that added value. Yeah. And then exactly. Which is basically an added service. And uh, that's what you do. Um, that's how the translation is started. Um, the company is like, I mean, every month it's all the day before it started. Translate is just they saw it. So you're trying to make some sharp. No, no, no. No, what I'm saying is that in the, in the, 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 the translation business is evolving. It, yeah. it's, it's, it's very dynamic. There's different business models coming up uh, all the time. I was just wondering how that, that nice slide that we had before, that path from the supplier to the end user, uh, how it, it, it impacts on the, on the final cost. Or, or how, how it translates, it adds, or with there is added value. Yeah. There is added value, but uh, how it translates well. Because in the translation industry now, there are different converging and contrasting trends okay. to produce at lower costs and avoid that. that kind of bring, uh, 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 facilitate in a way, uh, 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 the production to, to, uh, of, of the translation to the end user. There's different things coming up, like product sourcing. Um, different models that are, that are coming up. Um, but basically, what we do, our industry is it's also a managed service. It's, 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 it's the logistics. We, we also do the logistics with we in, in, in a proportional. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, sure. but, uh, uh, that, that's that's. I think it's very interesting. Uh, very interesting. The, the idea was a kind of service provided like like you all, and that was uh, kind of uh, like presenting this. Just for this final discussion of thinking how can the translation not essentially some translation. So it's more an open discussion for, for you more than for me. Um, how can you uh, overcome the boundaries uh, uh, that you have today or thinking of some of the box or how to turn the threats uh, into opportunities? We had a lot, we <laughs> have a lot of threats. This thing of uh, uh, reducing the, the package. It's, it's, a, it's a drag run because if it's a truck, it's making as money. So, how to overcome that uh, is uh, it's a situation that we're facing right now. So, uh, I don't know, do you, do you see any uh, any other thing on your market that that it's a boundary for you? It's a limitation for you today that you see that the translation and localization market could uh, work on and Work with all complementary services. I think the local service is really uh, a, a limitation of the fact that we need to reduce the rates further and further uh, to please the market. You know what? Yet, yet um, I also think that we have to start, as you said, not to because it's still in the place of vision. Exactly, and that guy was over there that knows that guy. It's one of the toughest customers I had because it's been pushed us for especially for freight. Because for the freight, for me, it's a kind of like a like a translation thing. It's like a pure translation. Uh, you have a vendor, right? If you're a translation company, you have your vendor. You 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 gonna charge no cap dollar. You are gonna pay. Ninety cents to your event, right? So you're doing ten cents. No, and I have the situation because I don't have my own airplane, and I pay to the cheap to the airlines eighty cents of dollar per kilo, and I charge ninety cents to to Nokia, and Nokia is pressuring me every day to reduce my cost. I had the same kind of issue, but the way that we did is that let me do something else for Nokia instead of the freight. I can make money, on, and then. They can save money as well, changing the the, the cost. I, I, I would say a big difference. Okay. Your industry, you are you are heavily tangible goods, and tangible goods by definition they impose a, a complexity which is much higher as opposed to the one of delivering intangible goods. Even though there is a hell of an intellectual world, is one and I think one of the most intellectual industry I've ever met. That's true. That's true. So people are highly paid. But the difference is including you? No, I just want to say I'm not with the low level. I just uh, I just started reading and uh, and writing, so it might do it. But certainly it is it's all about adding 